Okay, everyone, so it is day three, and I think I'm going to start off the day by just practicing with Uhura. Normally, I, I wouldn't show grinding, but I want to see how I fare against her now. The poet Omar will thrill all who hear with his words of song after the setting of the sun in our own inn. Yeah, the Kata's Tail Inn often has entertainment. If it's not Shima's dancing, then it's the poet. And this guy's telling us about his bookends, which I already read before, so I'm not going to read it again. Uh, so let's see. There are a few things left to see in Shapir, uh, but let's let's see what's going on at the Guild Hall. Is there anything going on today? No. It's good sometimes to have Simba with Rakish. Hard to feel like strong warrior when feeding baby. Maybe you and I do some practice with weapons today. Sure, let's do that. Let's see how I do against Uhura now. There we go, I hit her a couple of times. Put your body into your thrusts. It's hard to do when you're playing a computer game. Boy. Never stand still. Moving target harder to hit. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to move around a lot, but it just makes, uh, just makes my stamina go down even further. Block my spear or get out of the way. If it be Scorpion's tail, you be dead. Well, not with Herrick's Poison Cure Pills. I bought Herrick's Poison Cure Pills so that we could survive a Scorpion sting, but... Yeah, and we're exhausted. You're getting much better, but you still not be defending enough. Yeah, I know that my, def my style is not to defend. I just kind of flail at whatever I'm attacking. Let's see, my weapon use went way up. That's good. Uh, my agility has gone up a little bit. Vitality and strength have all gone up, so that's good. We're doing well. Doing pretty well, uh, all things considered. Okay, so it's day three. Oh, Rakesh is out here with Simba. Good day. A most pleasant one for those such as myself who like the heat, although most humans might find it hot. Simba here is more like a lion. He is having a wonderful time. Yeah. All right. Um, I've I've disappointed Rakesh. I can never be a paladin now because I broke into that house. Okay, I want to go to the Fountain Plaza here because on day three there's basically one thing. Uh, eh, this guy's still trying to sell his baskets to us. I'm, I'm going to ignore him. Um, besides Omar's poetry at the Katas Tail Inn, there's one other thing that uh, happens on day three. Sentima for the poor, Effendi? Sentima for the poor? Another beggar. I guess, well, there are beggars in every town. Especially Santa Cruz. But you get points, just as in the first Quest for Glory game, you give points for giving money to the beggar. So let's give Sentima to beggar. Thank you, thank you, Effendi. You shame me with your kindness. Uh, did that affect our honor at all? No, it didn't. I would have liked our honor to go up a little bit because it went down so much after that break-in, but... Speaking of the break-in... I've learned never to be caught without oil. You know, I'm going to buy some oil right now. I'm going to bargain for oil. You didn't notice this come in. Welcome back. If you see something that's interesting, you let me know. Yeah, bargain for oil. I want your oil, pal. You speak as one born to bargain. It shall be 15 centimus. You pay for the container of oil and put it away. Yeah. Even though we're a fighter, since we're doing thiefy type of things, we want to have, um... Yeah, centima. We want to have oil actually happens in the fourth game as well. There's a scene in the fourth Quest for Glory game where you need to have oil, and I ran into that and got stuck, and it just, it really sucked a lot. Okay, the other plaza we haven't seen is the Palace Plaza during the day, so let's go there and see the Palace Plaza now. As you can see, there are two merchants here. The finest of carpets in all of the land I have for your perusal, hero of the north. Okay, let's ask him about his carpets. I sell the finest of rugs hand-woven by my family. But ironically enough, if you try to buy a carpet, or I'm going to bargain for a carpet... Forgive me, but Shima would be most displeased if I sold you something which you could not easily carry and for which you have no real use. He's trying to sell us carpets, but then he won't let us buy one. He won't sell us a carpet because Shima won't let him sell one to us. Jewelry of the finest gems inlaid in rings of gold and silver, necklaces of beautiful stones, things of beauty which will last forever, all of which I sell. This guy uh, sells a pin that we can get, but the funny thing is, um, let's see, what if we ask him about his wares? Oh, I'm, townsperson thinks I'm talking to them. No, I'm not talking to the townsperson, I'm talking to Sashanan. I have many types of necklaces and bracelets, but my specialty is to sell the jewelry best suited to the customer. I believe, O oh hero, that for you I have a pin. Tell us about the pin. Here is a pin with a sapphire of exceeding clarity and color like that of your eyes, and a simple but elegant gold setting with the color like that of your hair. It would be a gift worthy of a sultan. But if you try to buy the pin or bargain for the pin, it has a value of 500 dinars. Would you care to bargain? 
500 denarius is obviously pretty expensive, but even if we go ahead and bargain for it, it says after trying to make a deal for some 20 minutes, you realize that you really don't need the pin anyway and certainly can't afford it. Such a shame that we could not make a deal. The pin was truly perfect for you. The funny thing is, though, yeah, it's true, we only have 86 denarius, but even if you have over 500 denarius, it'll give you the same message. I guess you're not supposed to get 500 denarius in the game. The game's not programmed to recognize that, because even if you have that much money, it won't let you buy it. And this is the palace. And there's absolutely nothing to do here. This room is completely pointless. If we try to walk in, it's, uh, the guard tells you, No one enters the gates of the palace of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. May he reign forever, unless ordered to do so. And you can ask this guy some questions. You can ask him about the Sultan. Although if you see the Sultan, he sees all. The Sultan knows everyone and everything in the city of Shapir. And these guards don't really have a lot to say for themselves, so I'm going to leave them be. That's the Palace Plaza. Now we've seen almost all of Shapir. I do want to go visit the Astrologer, because his place is close to this Palace Plaza. It's right at the end of this street here. See this street? So if you just go out the Palace Plaza on this uh, down this street and follow that street to the end, you'll run into the Astrologer. So I do want to run into him because you get points for meeting him and having him tell you your fortune. So let's go and meet the Astrologer real quick. Come in, come in, Hassan, come in. Oh, that is not you, is it? It is hard for me to tell at such a distance, even though he appears to be wearing glasses. Come in anyway, and welcome. I am Abu Al-Njin, and I am the Astrologer of the Stars and Omens. Who are you that I might know you? What might I call you? Well, my name is Late Blight, so I'll tell him that. Ah, Late Blight. It is indeed a name for heroes. If you say so. It is well that you have come, then. The signs show that we will soon need one here, meaning we'll soon need a hero. Okay, let's take around. Uh, to take a look around. Um, every day the astrologer thanks his lucky stars that he has lucky stars. Uh, this is a rebus on the wall. Let's see. P plus explosion. No, wait. Plus kaboom. Oh, heck, you never were any good at these things anyway. You know what? I never figured out just what the heck this, uh, this rebus is supposed to say. It looks like, I guess, kaboom minus M, so kaboom. Oh, you know what? I just figured out what it is. You know what? Folks, this has troubled me for 20 years. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years, and just now while doing this Let's Play video, I just realized what it says. Kaboom minus M is Kabu. It's P Kabu I C U. Wow. That this is this this is a striking revelation, I swear. I have been looking at this rebus for most of my life, and I've never figured out what it says, and I just realized now just in kind of idly explaining that I don't know what it is. My, my life is complete. I can die now. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to die. I can't believe this has happened. This is... I, I, I almost need to stop the video, but I think I'll finish taking a look around here first. Um, wow. I, I, I really can't believe this has happened. Okay, anyway. Um, I did want to take a look at this model because, um, it's only a model of a planetary system. It isn't the real thing. Um, oh, I guess I need to ask him about it. Yeah, can we ask him about the planetary model? The orrery works on magnetic principles. It was told to me that it describes an obscure system containing such planets as Xenon, Ortega, Pestilon, Phlebut, and Uranus. I don't know what to think about Uranus. And I'll ignore his naughty pun for a moment to point out that all the other planets are, of course, planets in Space Quest. Okay, this chart on the wall. The stars are all out of place compared to Spielberg. Where the heck is this place? And this yes-no, yes-no board. You used to have a magic 8-ball that performed much the same function as this dartboard. Okay, so we can ask the astrologer a few questions. Let's ask him about his dartboard. The casting of darts is the astrologer's version of the scientific method. That's very scientific. Uh, uh what about your rebus? Will you give us... I never was very good at those things. Yeah, I wasn't either. It took me, it took me 20 years to realize this says peekaboo, I see you. Wow. Can you tell us about the chart? Actually, my stockbroker gave me the chart you see on the wall. Oh, maybe that's why it, uh, it doesn't look like a real star chart. Okay, but the real thing that we need to ask this guy about is our fortune. So ask about fortune. If you wish to know your fortune, I will need to know your guiding signs. Tell me about your past and the things you have done. Okay, and here we do tell about. The rarely used control T tell about shortcut key comes into play here. Tell about self. You have lived a most interesting life. I will look into what signs have guided your life thus far and how, and see how they will affect you in the future. This will take many hours, so you'll need to come back some other day. 
Yeah, he won't give us our fortune today, but if we come back, I think tomorrow he'll have a fortune waiting for us. So I'll tell him thanks. It is my pleasure and my purpose to serve the ways of knowledge. He's a... Uh, he's an academic. If you need to know more about the future, visit me again when it arrives. He's an intellectual, is what I meant to say, I think. Yeah, I, I, what I really meant to say was he's an intellectual. Nice guy, a little bit ex eccentric, but most intellectuals are. Okay, it's been fun. I'm going to save the game as Met Astrologer, and I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, I think now we've finally seen most of Shapir, although there are a couple of other things that we haven't seen yet. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you again, folks. It's been fun. I'll see you later.